G'day folks, NB Wildman back here again with you. Uh, today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh, the live trap that I have uh, built for the pail sets. Now, I got all kinds of comments and all kinds of questions uh, about that, uh, that live trap in a pail set. Um, if you haven't yet seen that video, it's a great one. It's on the NB Wildman channel. There's a link up here in the corner uh, to that video, and uh, you can go ahead and check that out. It's uh, a different and new kind of live trap that I've been trying out and using, having great success with it. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wildman channel, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell so that you to, so that you get notifications when we upload new content. And uh, feel free to leave comments or questions down below. We'll get back to you just as soon as we can. So um, anyway, I've got a lot of questions about that live trap and uh, a lot of people a little bit skeptical about, you know, they like the design but didn't really get a chance to see it working or like the design but it looked, you know, how can we prove it works? Don't think we can get a raccoon in a pail, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we're gonna do a test here. Uh, I've got some chickens here on the on the farm and uh, we see some fresh raccoon tracks up and down the brook. So um, we've got 80 little baby birds and, and I don't want to lose any to some raccoons. So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna set up one of these live traps and I'm gonna show you uh, just exactly how it's set up. And then I've got to set up a trail camera and I'm gonna put on video mode. And then we're gonna see if we can actually get some video of some animals working these sets so that I can kind of just more or less prove to those people that uh, want to see this trap in action that it actually does work and, and that, it, that it is a good, uh, good live trap option. So uh, anyway, just uh, bear with me here. I'm going to show you how to set one of these up. Uh, we're going to use the paste bait uh, that I have also uh, a great video up on uh, the best uh, paste bait for raccoon. Again, link up here in the corner uh, to that video. And um, you can check out how to make this bait. It's what I'm going to use, just a little bit of it behind the behind the pan of the uh, the trap, and we'll. we'll okay, go folks. From there. So here we are, and I've got one of my uh, pail sets. This is actually one of the ones that I built uh, for the video that's on the channel. So um, I can, you know, I'm actually using one of the ones that I built. So this is it right here. Uh, all we're going to do is take a little bit of this paste bait that I've uh, made, and uh, just put it on a stick or something. Doesn't matter what. You can use a little plastic spoon or whatever you want. I usually just grab something local, and. Uh, Gonna slide the pan, slide the trigger mechanism all the way to the front of the pail. Turn it a little bit so that you can kind of have access to the back of it to smear some of this paste on. So you just dig up some of your dig up some of your paste bait that you've made, put it on the end of your stick, and put it on the back side of the pan. Just kind of smear it on there, rub it in good on the back side of that little piece of metal. Um, you can put some on the front too, it doesn't really matter, but just, uh, just as long as you've got some of that yummy smelling paste, yummy smelling bait on this, uh, on the pan of this trap. There we go. You don't need a lot, just enough for the smell. And I, I typically, and this is just me, I typically take the stick and I toss it, you know, four or five yards out uh, from the trap, just as a little bit more of an attractor, they might smell that first and then, and then come sniffing around. So I usually just toss this, toss the stick out of the way. Once that's done, I'm just gonna slide this, just like uh, you've seen, we're gonna slide that to the back of the pail. And then we're gonna latch, latch, this, latch this hook right on top of this door. So if you missed the video um, about how these traps work, with, uh, with any luck, your animal comes by and heads in the pail right so they get to the back of the pail where that pan just was and these are specially designed for raccoon and skunk uh, and what they'll do is they'll nudge around in there and they'll try to grab that that square metal bracket with the bait on the back and they'll try to pull it forward or they'll try to get their nose and their head in behind it and you know to try to eat that bait and then what happens is it pushes this trigger forward and then the door shuts and then they're locked inside the pail so that's the, the premise behind the trap. And it's all set now. That, they're that easy and quick to set. You basically just put them on the ground and you open up the door like that. And you bait, you bait the trap and you set the door up like that and that's it, you're good to go. Uh, I spray paint a lot of these if I'm gonna use them, you know, like in the woods or whatever, I spray paint them green and black and whatever else. But you know what? Uh, for the most part, raccoons and skunks aren't overly afraid of, uh, of anything. So uh, I got no problem just using a white pail here and, and we'll see. So uh, that's it, quick and easy, it's all set up.
So uh, here we are back at the bike and uh, I just wanted to show you just how easy it is to uh, to carry these guys, right? He's in the pail, so you just take the little handle of the pail and the handle that comes with the trap and just kind of squeeze them together. And you can pick them right up and go. Uh, no problem, you just carry them in the pail and no danger of them scratching or biting you or anything like that, right? Because he's all enclosed in that pail and and uh, he's not going anywhere. So this you just kind of watch, you know, you got to watch the trigger for... Uh, for sticks and stuff, but other than that, he's uh, he's in. Well, folks, there you have it. Uh, so that's that's pretty much proof that those live traps in pails work and they work well. Um, they're big enough to handle raccoons. Uh, we get some pretty big coons around these parts, and uh, that certainly was uh, not a not a huge coon, but it was a medium sized raccoon, and uh, it worked that set pretty well and ended up in that live trap. And so um, for those of you that were wondering, you know, just how they work and 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 talk about people showing videos that are theoretical uh, as opposed to ones that actually actually work and that you can prove work. I think uh, when you get you know live video of an animal working the set and then being caught in the set, I think that's pretty much proof enough. So um, anyway, uh, like I say, these live traps that fit in pails, they're great. And uh, if you know where to get them, uh, Iron City Trap Company used to make them. I don't think they do anymore. Uh, I've got a gentleman right now who's, uh, who's building me some. So in not too long a time, I hope to have 25 or 30 of these prototypes uh, ready for sale. So if you want to drop a comment down below, if you're interested in maybe getting one or a sample of one, just go ahead and drop that down in the comments below and, and we'll, uh, we'll get in touch with you. Until that time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.